Favorite TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Friday Morning Digest. Thank you for joining us. Our apologies for starting a bit late. Uh, today our focus is on the journey to 2022 and we are asking ourselves whether there's a space for prophecy. I know that as we get closer and closer to the election date, we begin to see more and more prophets beginning to arise and beginning to you know, prophesy about who is going to win the election, what God is going to do, and so on and so forth. And I think it's important for us, before we get there, to begin to have that discussion, ask ourselves, is there a role for prophecy? Um, look at case, case studies like the US, for example, where most of the prophets seem to have taken one side and, and what went wrong, and so on and so forth. So that you and I, who uh, might not occupy that space, are able to rightly discern uh, what is going on and what is happening. Um, I guess I have uh, Reverend John Wangi, who is not a guest at all. I think he's been here a few times. And we have uh, Apostle Shadrach Kosge, yes. who I want to invite maybe to just give us a bit about himself, just yes. share a bit about himself before we get the discussion on the road. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Our dear viewers, I'm Apostle Kosge uh, Shadrach from Eldoret, Senior Pastor at Clem Victory Churches. And I really want to appreciate God that today... Um, uh, to be here uh, with this great discussion about uh, knowing, you know, what God is um, is up to, you know, uh, for our nation and also for the, you know, for the church. And I thank God that by this discussion, the Lord is going to enable us to know even the mind of God. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, Bona Um yes. Maybe I'll start with uh, Reverend John. Um, this Enziu River disaster, you know, that we had, uh, I think, the well, last one week or so, it's been in the papers of late. I think yesterday they were having the burial services. Uh, what do you think? I know that from a spiritual perspective, some, we already have certain lenses that we look at some of these events by. But what do you think? What are your thoughts? First of all, our condolences to the families that uh, lost their loved ones. Uh, people will have very many unanswered questions, and that's understandable. Uh, we'll blame many people, many things, driver, or blame uh, the river, blame God, blame the devil. We'll, we'll go through those motions, and that's human. We, we, we continue to see disasters like those. Um, the scripture is clear. The thief comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. Um, if you look at the book of Job, uh, there is a lens that we wear. It's both the physical lens and the spiritual lens. When you look at what happened to Job's life, it looked just physical, that there was nothing that you... you, you if if uh, readers come and take people, uh, people's livestock, uh, we say it's natural. Mm. If uh, floods come and fires come and burn, we say this is natural. It just came. And if uh, there was a wind that came, blew off the roof, we'll say it's... But when you go behind the scenes, the devil had already asked for permission and yes. God had granted. So there is always a spiritual angle to the things that we see on the physical. Yes. Okay. So on this matter, I do think that there is a spiritual angle to it. And... Um, I'm not aware of what that would look like, but what I am clear about is that there is a spiritual angle to it. Mm -hmm. I know there is a devil's hand in it. I also know that there is God's hand in it. So where that goes and how it happens to the people, because we can ask why do good things happen to yes, bad, that's, that's or rather question. bad things yes, happen yeah. to good people, yeah, yes. and why some you know losing members of family, many of them at the same time. You know, our ways are not God's ways, so we'll nev not always understand. Like Job, we'll not really understand. He lost everything, yes. including his relationship with his wife who was very strained. And that's the closest relationship probably you can get in life after the relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So those things come. And so there is, and it's time of prayer, reflection for the families and for the individuals who are affected directly um, and uh, for, for us as a nation, but also to ask 
did the government fail to do their work? And okay. the answer is yes. Okay. That there, there were promises. This, there are about 400 people plus who've perished on that. And the, how many economies have been destroyed? You had people are transporting, uh, you know, their, their, their goods and their truck just fell into the water. And this is not just yesterday, it's okay. years. So the government need to do what they have to do. They have to put up the bridge. They say they'll do it in uh, how many months, 10? Uh, let them do what they have to do. I mean, that's why we pay taxes. Okay. And somebody is answerable to God for what, when they don't do what they have to do. And the church need to call out on when we have lazy people, I know people who uh, you know, take the money that was set for that bridge. If you go there, you can see there is a bit of work that was done, okay. but there, it was left halfway. Okay. Uh, somebody ate that money, and uh, uh, they need to remember that God is God of justice. He will not let them go scot-free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they are called to repentance. They are called to do what they must do, uh, and because those, those lives should not have been lost. Okay, okay. Apostle Shadrach, do you, do you yes. want to add to that conversation? Yeah, um, I, I, re I really agree uh, with the servant of God because uh, first um, uh, we pass our condolences to the family and uh, again uh, what happened in Enzio River. Actually, if you remember uh, two, years, two years back, I think it's two years back, um, there was another uh, tragedy and uh, around 10, 10 people lost their lives. And I remember very well uh, the government, you know, came up and, you know, gave a promise of now working on this bridge. But uh, finally, it was like an empty promise. So it's like a negligence, you know, uh, you know, you know, the government, you know, uh, having negligence, uh, you know, concerning, you know, you know, the bridge. But also, uh, it's a challenge for the church because. Uh, uh, when you see uh, what I mean, the servant of God, uh, the servant of God has said, uh, why good people? Because okay. you know these people, uh, you know, you know, they're, they're church people, and they were going for this function, and uh, it was it, it was so painful for the church, for the body of Christ. But uh, I felt in my heart that now, even though we are waiting for the for the government, and I believe now that the government is doing something, mm. you know, for the bridge and remembering uh, the community, but also as a church, we have to we have to pray. Okay. We have to pray and ask the Lord that um, uh, not only the NZU incident, but even other incidences, you know, across the country, and for the government to be accountable, and also for the church also to, to stand in the gap. Yes. And you and be a voice, mm. you know, for the voiceless. Okay. Yes. You, you've raised an interesting point because I think many times we view the church as our congregation. You yes. know, yes. Uh, maybe now you're in Gloam, you know, yes. your congregation. Yes. yes. Is yes. there a role for pastoring the community? Is there a role for oversight? Yes. You know, so maybe the churches um, around that NZ River area yes. Yes. have a responsibility yes. to yes. for oversight. Yes. Do, you, do you see that role? Yeah, exactly. First of all, um, we, we, we are a body of Christ. Yeah. And being a body of Christ, uh, we are a voice. We are a voice uh, uh, not only for our congregation, but also we are a voice uh, for the church and also for all the people. So when we see things happening uh, which are not uh, in line with God, we should rise up because uh, the responsibility that God has given us, uh, you know, as, uh, as, 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 uh, as God's, uh, you know, uh, uh, people, as God ministers is to is to oversee, you see, is to stand in the gap, and you know, give a voice concerning what is happening. So I believe God has given us a responsibility, and uh, I wish you know uh, the church, yeah. not only in, uh, in 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 that region alone, but the church in Kenya, you know, uh, you know, to rise up and you know, give a call to the government mm. that now it's time uh, for for the government. Uh, not only to give a promise, but also to fulfill. you know to work out and fulfill. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I believe uh, if if the church is going to rise up, uh, the Lord is going to realign everything in our country. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. And then another thing on the news this week was about this so this officer, police officer who killed six people. John, what what I mean? This, we seem to be having a big issue with our 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 is it armed forces, our security forces. What 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 do you have to say about that? People are sick. Okay. Um, we have mental health issues. Um, just like we'll have physical issues. Like you have a cold or you have a headache or somebody has cancer, you actually can get sick uh, emotionally, you can get sick mentally. Mm. Uh, there's no you know, sane human being 
that can do what uh, this gentleman did. He kills his family, kills people he doesn't know, then he kills himself. If it's premeditated, uh, it's still a sickness. Uh, that's a spiritual sickness. Um, if it was something that snapped, it's because it's mental sickness. But as I said earlier, I do think that the work of killing and destroying people's lives is the work of the devil. It's mm -hmm. not the work of God. And therefore, I still see a hand of the enemy in it. Um, so, but there are also those who escaped. So we still see the hand of God, God. All right. mm -hmm. even in the midst of mm -hmm. that pain. Mm -hmm. um, and then the president did come out and say, uh, the gun you're given is to protect lives, not to take lives. Mm -hmm. And if you have got challenges, uh, you need to talk to someone. Uh, this man had a business. There are people who are his patrons, who uh, were frequenting where he had his joint. Uh, where, so he, he was trying to make his ends meet, I guess, to feed for his family. Mm. I also heard he had a case. He had, I think uh, there was a murder case uh, that he was being investigated on. So I am not in the investigative uh, field, so I don't know what was going on. Uh, but I do hope that we can prevent this kind of yeah. stuff. If mm -hmm. this was known, uh, that's what we know. What, well, there might be much more we don't. But when people are unwell, they need help. So the, the, the chaplains in the in our, in our, in our, in our uh, police service need to, continue to require our prayer and support probably we need to increase their number. Okay. The Christians there who mm. are around and the policemen, they need to pray. We, mm. need, we need to pray for our policemen mm. and poli uh, policewomen. So I do think that it's an issue of prayer, it's an issue of concern, and we need to surround our friends with prayer. We need to surround our friends with uh, uh, gifts of presence um, so that they don't continue to work in those very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, probably the church need to call the policemen in our own uh, churches yeah. and uh, pray for them and give them opportunity to talk. Men need to come out in particular because we hardly talk mm. and mm. give opportunity for them mm. to mm. just mm. the gift of presence yeah. so that we can prevent some of these yeah. things from happening and if we can't b b probably reduce the magnitude. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Apostle Kosge, I mean, yes. recently it was this lady, in, was it in Kapsabet? And, yeah. and no Kapsabet, yes. Eldred, and it was mm. our, for a week, it was yes. in the news. Yes. What, what happens? Okay, no, okay, it's, um, okay, the incident uh, happened in Iten. Mm -hmm. That's in El Gomaraquet, but uh, the lady comes from Nandi. Okay. Actually, near my home area, wow. uh, you know, a place called Mosoriot. And uh, it's unfortunate. It's, uh, it's unfortunate because uh, one, uh, I felt in my heart that um, as a church, uh, one, we should go back to the Great Commission, uh, the Great Commission that we were given by the Lord. And uh, I believe by the Great Commission that the Lord gave us, uh, we are able to strengthen, you know, the spiritual institution, you know, in our government, you know, institutions. And, you know, by the church, you know, chipping in, standing in the gap, you know, having a mutual relationship. Because um, uh, all along, if, you know, you know very well that um, uh, mostly, you know, you, know, you, know, you know, the public eye, you know, the eye, you know, from the public, yeah. you know, with, with, the, with the police. At times, you know, uh, people uh, tend to, 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 to disagree or to have maybe different opinion. Yeah. Uh, but I believe uh, it's a responsibility for the church, you know, to rise up and, uh, and, and play a role, you know, give a platform that even the, you know, you, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, the public also may be able to have um, that good relationship, you know, you know, with, with, the, with the government institutions, especially the police, and also now encouraging the way the servant of God said, you know, uh, this is sickness. And a part of this is, a part of this being a sickness, it's a, it's, it's, it's a spiritual sickness yeah. because this is actually at the end of the enemy. You can just imagine somebody, you know, uh, killing his, his own family, killing his own children, killing his, or, you know, his wife or, you know, uh, you know destroying everything. So for sure, uh, I'm seeing um, this the enemy and this is our time to rise up. You know, I, I remember uh, with the incident yeah. in, uh, in, uh, in, in El Gomaraquet, 
I remember the church in in El Gomara quite in it end. You know, they came so strong and and uh, and and they said no enough is enough. And I remember uh, uh, they, 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 they prepared, you know, a, a forum of how to reach, uh, you know, especially the, you know, the athletes because yeah. this, this, this girl, she was an athlete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and I remember they prepared the forum, you know, and actually it's an ongoing program, not only for Eligio Marakwet now, but also from Wasingishu and Nandi County because mm -hmm. uh, that's the talent, that's the gift that Excellent. God has given us. Excellent. So, and uh, because uh, uh, when this incident happened, it really touched many people and uh, I believe that um, it is this the time for the church not only just to sit back but to rise up that may God give us strategies how to reach these people to love these people yeah. because most of these people uh, they need to be loved they, they need to be reached out and you know with the word of God and even to be prayed for and as the sound of God said about the chaplaincy programs yeah it's very important that um, the church should be there, not just leaving everything to them, but we should be, we should be there, you know, work with them, you know, hear their views, you know, uh, we know their problems, and I believe God is going to help us. Excellent. And uh, above all, we pray for them. I, I like what you said about El Geo Marraquet, that yes. they actually began mm -hmm. a program to reach out to yes, the athletes. Yes, exactly, you know? through the athletes. Yes. Again, that's part of the discussion, you know, pastoring the community instead yes, of just yes. pastoring your own, yes, yes, your own yes, church. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Today is, uh, I think, Israel's big day. And wow, I know you it almost is, got stuck. It is, <laughs> <laughs> it is Baba's uh, yeah. big day. <laughs> and uh, we wish him well. Yes. And uh, we are praying because yes. uh, I believe the Azimula Umoja, mm. it's about uh, uniting, uh, the you, 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 uniting the nation. And uh, we are praying that, may that you know, may the team you know, of, uh, of, 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 of this conference yeah you know, uh, be, be realistic and it shall be a blessing. It, 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 it's going to be a blessing to the country. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, but we wish Baba well yeah. that, uh, uh, you know, not only for him, you know, maybe you know, engaging with the Kenyans, yeah. but also uh, for Kenyans also, to, you know, coming together, interacting together and, mm. you know, uh, mm. To better our community, actually. Yes, yes. yes for yes. we are one. Yes, yes. excellent. Yes. Yes. Uh, Reverend Mwangi, you know, when he talks about wishing Baba well, it makes me think he might be pro Baba, you know? <laughs> is, is there. Is, no, it's we, my, <laughs> my, 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 my perspective. <laughs> yes. Is there, yes. Is there a, a problem with wishing, uh, you know, the UDA, uh, the UDA candidate well, Bwana um, Samoy Ruto? Is there a problem with wishing Baba well? Does it mean that we are partisan, you know? And especially when you're talking to people who are prophetic. You know, because uh, by the time a prophet is wishing a certain candidate well, there might be a lot of <laughs> <laughs> background issues. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you know, uh, uh, God's perspective is not our perspective. Yes. God sees much more. Um, I believe what, uh, you know, Apostle Kosge is saying, we all need to be united. Mm. And it's for that cause yes. that we wish well uh, the plans that are happening and the day the big day i think i saw one of the headlines somebody saying is uh, baba's big day and they say it's something like a wedding or something like that <laughs> mm. all right um we want kenya to be united yeah. uh, mm -hmm. and it's important to note that god will use different players to cause that to happen. Mm. He could use UDA, he can use uh, ODM, he can mm. use Mama Mboga, he mm. can use uh, a child in the street, because all of us need to be united. Mm. It's a call and it's a cause mm. we must always forge for. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, things will happen at Kasarani today. There are things that will please some and there are yeah. things that will displease others. Mm. And there are things that will be right, there are things that will be wrong. Um, Kasarani is known sometimes for its Kisirani. You know, there, <laughs> there, there, there are things that will happen yes. there. Mm -hmm. um, for the church, perspective is to ask uh, what is the, the view of God on this. And mm -hmm. the Bible calls us to pray for those in authority. Mm -hmm. Our, yes. And Samuel did say, that, may I not sin against God for failing to pray yeah. for you. Prayer is calling the presence of God. Uh, prayer is calling for us to discern God's perspective on these matters. Now, those are his people. Uh, anyone who gets into that compound, uh, it's created in the image of God. And therefore, it's the desire of God that none of them 
error. It's not the will of God. Any of them will go through the wrong path of life. So we pray that there will be peace. We pray that there will be, that there will be no deception. Sometimes we, politics, uh, they say it's, it's a game of deception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that is not the will of God. You yes. can promise what you want to promise. But if you don't deliver it, it's, and you say it's politics, that's how we politic, it's, it's wrong. Whichever way you look at it. Okay. We, we yeah. do pray that that will mark, uh, today's will mark uh, in, in, in our calendar a time for us to start to see a shift in how people think and how people reason things out. I listened to an interview of one of the close members of Baba's team and he said that uh, people are going to expect even much more today, <laughs> uh, okay. whatever that is. But yeah. nothing takes God for by surprise. By surprise. By surprise. And God has his perspective, he has his plan. Mm. Um, he, he, if he decides to use the today's meeting for that, that that's, that's, I think we should just tell the Lord thank you. Okay. Uh, our prayer is that there will be still within uh, the, the, yeah, the, the plan of God. And yeah. It's, yeah. as he said, let's pray for, for everyone. Mm. That's our duty as a church Excellent. and wish them well. Yes. Apostle Kosuke, yes. you know one of the things that, I don't know what the right word, this, maybe the right word is disappoints me. Yes. During an election cycle like this yes. is the way prophets sort of come up and we pull to either side. You know, one set of prophets pulls to the side of, you know, Baba. Mm -hmm. Another set of prophets pulls to the side of Ruto. Mm -hmm. Is it us as the church who are putting pressure on the prophets to prophesy what we want to hear? Mm -hmm. Or is it the prophets trying to make a name for themselves? Mm -hmm. what, what, how, do, how do you interpret that? Okay, okay. Well, I, I see that it cuts across because one, uh, there's pressure, you know, there's pressure that we are receiving also. But also on the other side, also uh, maybe as we prophets, uh, we are trying to, to, you know, to go overboard, you know, trying maybe to, to please or maybe to, to show that we are, we are one, you know, you know, you know, you know with them. Yes, I know uh, most politicians, actually all politicians, uh, they are our church members. Mm. And, um, but one thing that just I want to mention here is that um, uh, there's, uh, there's a prophetic office and there's a prophecy. Okay. So as a prophet, uh, you are given a prophetic office uh, and that is a place where you interact with God. You listen, you know, from God, but uh, don't convert a prophecy to be a prophetic office. So whereby now it's like uh, now you must give a prophecy and you feel this is the word, and that is actually uh, the disappointment that we are getting because I remember the past U.S. elections. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so uh, there was great, great disappointment because. People are prophesying, prophets are prophesying that uh, such and such a candidate will be the president. So, but when things, you know, came out, it was, you know, it was so disappointing. So I believe, one, we should allow, uh, we should allow the will of God be done. That's number one. Then number two, we have to listen to the voice of God, okay. you know, and you're listening again for clarity. So whereby as we are going to prophesy, as we are going to, you know, to share the word, are we sharing the mind of God? Because um, a, a prophecy is about the mind of God. Mm. It is about the heart of God. I, I remember recently, um, there's a politician who came to me and he said, uh, gay, I've seen you prophesying. I've seen you praying for people. So I need you to prophesy to me. <laughs> So, so I was just on a fix and I was telling God, now I need, I need your hand. Mm. So, but I thank God, God is a God of, uh, you know, who, who intervenes. Yes. And uh, I was able to, to guide him mm. and also to, you know, to, to share the word of God. But he said, you know, I wanted you to prophesy. You know, though you prophesied for so and so, and mm. I saw that word. Mm. I saw the accuracy of the word. So I need you to prophesy. So it was not easy for me. So actually, those are kinds of precious, yeah. you know, that we are receiving mm. because uh, all over now, these people are rushing, 
you know, uh, the, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe by tomorrow, <laughs> they'll be they'll be looking for Prophet John here, you know, <laughs> for a while, and maybe after Prophet John mm. now, maybe they are coming to Eldoret, mm. you know, hey, Koske, we need, you know, give us a word. But um, all in all, um, we thank God because I believe uh, that's the push. Also, they, they they want to know, you know, what's this, what's you know what's all about uh, their future the future of this country, and also knowing the mind of God. Yeah. But with the prophets also, we should be discernful. We should uh, stand right in our, you know, in our platforms, mm. and we share the mind of God. Wow. Yes. Reverend John, I've heard you being called prophet. The prophet has called you a prophet. <laughs> the prophet has <laughs> prophesied. So you say as prophesied. You gave me a prophet, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the question I have is, is, have you ever been under pressure? To profess either a certain candidate or a certain outcome that yes. that really you know maybe that pressure was sometimes even from family you know the family comes to you and they're yes. expecting there's this court case yes. they're expecting and there's pressure on you and yes. how do you deal with that hmm. I, I haven't gotten to the levels of <laughs> politicians so I, 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 yeah. I don't think people call, call me a prophet so mm. um, uh, but when i speak a few times god would uh, say something that is very specific and particular to a person and then somebody I remember this lady who came and said I have heard you prayed and spoke to this I want you I'm coming here tell yeah. me what God is saying <laughs> and I, say, yes. I haven't asked him yes. <laughs> and he hasn't told me yes, yes. Uh, and, and as, as he said that there is a bit of pressure for that yes, yes. Uh, and I'm reminded in the Bible where mm -hmm. you know in, in the days of uh, Samuel before he was born the Bible says uh, that the word of God was rare mm -hmm. And we are living in times when, you know, you really need to hear that word of yes, God. And, yes. and people are yearning and mm. fasting after yes. it. And that can put a lot of pressure. Yes. Uh, and the question is that who has mm. this word? Mm -hmm. And it's him who waits on the mountain of the mm. Lord. It's him who, you know, is a man of unclean lips. Mm. It's one who is walking right with God. Yes. Those you'll find... At least whatever they say, you, 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 even if they don't say, thus says the Lord, the yes. wisdom they carry, yes. it will carry the day. Yes. And I, I like what um, um, the prophet Apostle Kosge has said, that it's, 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 about, it's about knowing the mind of God. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to speak in tongues for that to be there. That's true. Because his word is clear. There yes. are things that if somebody is stealing, Yes. I don't need a prophecy to tell him yes, that, yes. hey, stealing yes. is, is yes. wrong. Yes. And, you know, there are some people who have come for prayers and they have said they were very, very happy <laughs> that their prayers were answered. When we yes. asked what was that, they yes. had gone to steal. Wow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> they're yes. going they're, to steal. They're bringing, they're yes. bringing at, at a thanksgiving yes. uh, that their mission was successful. Yes. Is that the kind of thing we're talking about? Okay. I don't think that is where we're going. And okay. it's, it's very important for mm. us not to put prophecy yes. uh, beyond the yes. boundaries that yes. God has given us. Yes. If something is wrong, is wrong. Stealing yes. is wrong. Murdering is yes. wrong. Yes. Lying is wrong. Yes. So anything that goes like uh, prophecy, yes. that things which are lied to are yes. right, mm. then yes. it's a prophecy not from yes. God. It's mm. That must be a false prophecy. It must be from the devil who is the father of all lies. Yes. So we, the devil also prophesies. Okay. So the prophecy is not the, yes. the call. The mm. call yes. is, is we need God. Mm. Yes. And just allow me pr probably just quickly to say that at this time when we go, and we're going to get very many prophets. Yes. The Bible says, test every spirit. Yes. We should not be yes. cowed, yes. intimidated yes. by a person who comes and speaks in tongues yes. and a person who says, I am yes. the, the, the prophet. Mm -hmm. yes. And you must, you know, not point your finger. Yes. The, the Bible tells us yes. uh, that we must test, yes. not some spirits. Mm. Yes. Every. Every. Every spirit. So it's important and incumbent for the body of Christ not to be swayed by any move of doctrine, mm. whether it's from South Africa or it's from uh, North Africa yeah. yes. or it's from Central Africa yes. or from whichever country yes. or continent. Yes. We must always yes. test yes. the spirit. Yes. That is the word of the Lord. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. I wanted to say that is the yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and also right. to add on uh, yes. what the Maybe of God Apostle has. Koske, yes. if you don't mind, we need to take a break. Oh, okay, okay, yes, okay, yes. okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we yes. need to take a break, a five-minute break and, uh, or a few-minute break, and then we'll be yes. back. Uh, don't touch that dial. The conversation is just heating up. See you in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you.
next on Tracing the Mantles. One of the things I've picked from you is the place of honor in the transfer of mantles. Grace is transferred in the place of highest honor. What you value is what you attract. How soon should a father start to prepare for succession? I think it should be <laughs> a, a, a preparation that starts as early as possible. Because you see, we don't have, we don't hold the year, the days of our years yeah. in hand. Mm -hmm. And that's why I advise every uh, church, organization, or ministry to have a constitution. You cannot claim somebody to be your son yeah. in the faith if you never, never impacted. Impacted. That's all. That wow. Matters. Catch Tracing the Mantles with Pastor Sunta Juma every Sunday from 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us on this discussion. We are asking ourselves whether in the journey to 2022, there's a role for prophecy. And just before the break, um, Reverend John Mwangi was telling us about the need to test every spirit. In fact, he stopped short of saying, thus saith the Lord. Yes. And uh, <laughs> Apostle Koske was about to intervene. So I just yes. wanted to pick up from there. We're yes. discussing testing the spirits and how do we move on? How do we, you know, work oh, from there? <clears throat> okay, yes. I, I thank God for what uh, the servant of God has said. Uh, about about um, about you know uh, the pressure that we have been having, and um, one thing that we need to understand is that um, uh, especially for our fellow uh, you know leaders, because I believe uh, uh, we are co-workers. You know, yes, we are we are serving God at the point of you know uh, being in the church, but also we are all serving humanity. And uh, one thing that I want to encourage our, our leaders is that uh, they must be confident because I believe when God gives you a burden to be a leader, yeah. so uh, there's, you know, there's, um, there's courage and there's also uh, that confidence that you believe that for sure that God has given you, um, has given you uh, that call you know, to, to, you know, to serve people. But also uh, we must be discernful because you have said, we must test the spirits because as you're talking now, you know, I across our borders. Yeah. You know, we have now many people crossing over, coming in. Maybe others are coming from the way the servant of God said, maybe from, from, you know, from South Africa, from Nigeria or North Africa. So they are coming, you know, by what they are saying, that is the Lord. But uh, we have to be cautious. We have to, we have, we have to be discernful. We have to test and the only way to test that if this word comes from God is by one knowing the foundation. Mm. Because every word given by God has a foundation of his word, which is the Bible. Then number two also, um, number two also we need to understand that, um, uh, that uh, every prophecy, you know, every prophecy, you know, a part of you receiving the word, it edifies you. Okay. But also, you need also to know, uh, to discern the, you, the message carrier, the vessel carrier, because at times a message comes in, you're given a word, but you're told, you know, you know now you must, you must go somewhere, uh, maybe you, you do some funny things, you mm. know, for that word, you know, to, you know, you know, to come to, re to reality, yeah. of which I don't believe, because mm. I believe you don't have to, to do some funny stuff, you know, for the word of God to be fulfilled, or maybe, you know, paying money for the word. I don't believe, because when God speaks, God speaks, so, but you have to be discernful, you know, using the word of God, you know, as, a, as, as our measure line, 
you know, uh, to know, you know, uh, if this one is from him or not. Or not. Yes. Um, Apostle Koske, let me yes. just uh, let me just paint a picture. Yes. You know, today we've talked about Baba's convention. Yes. Convention. Yes. Let's assume you are called. Yes. You know, Apostle Koske is called yes. to do the opening prayer. Yes. You know, and obviously because um, if you see if somebody came to you today and he's starting a business and asked yes. you to pray, yes. you'd pray for the business. Yes. You know, yes. if somebody came to you today, they are looking for a job. You'd pray yes. for the job. Yes. Yes. So yes. he comes and says, "Look, I'm seeking a job, yes. and that job is the highest job yes. in the land. Yes. Uh, pray for me." Yes. And you see, there's that pressure, subtle pressure. Yes. behind that. He's not just yes. calling you to pray, but he's yes. also calling you to, you know, uh, the practical, how do you deal with that? And you know that that will probably be the biggest platform. Yes, of course. Yes. 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 How would you do it? How would you do that? Now, mm. concerning, concerning such, you know, you know, you know, you know, such incident, because uh, uh, yes, you are called to pray, but as a man of God, the way I said, you must have that uh, closeness or deep connection with okay. God. That's number one. Okay. As you are praying, you are praying the will to be done. But don't go there and say, you know, now this is what God is saying. Mm. You know, uh, Baba, you will be the you will be the next president. Mm. You know, of, of Kenya, mm. or maybe the route you go, you are going to be the president of Kenya or any other, you know, aspiring candidate. But we pray, you know, you know, you know, for the for, for the perfect will of God, you know, be done. Yes, because I know. Uh, when you are called to pray, there is pressure, but don't allow. The, let 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 the mind of God, let the grace of God, let God guide. You see, and you go by the word of God. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Uh, Reverend John, prophets feel that pressure because we assumed you guys are always in tune with God. You know, <laughs> your your heads are in heaven, your feet are down here. Do you feel that pressure? <laughs> I was just thinking about because gay is late now. You had to pray at Baba's. Uh. It's a bit too late now. It's a bit too late. It's, it's, it's a full day. day. Yeah. Yeah. In politics, yes, that yes, is a long time. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Um, yeah. The pressure is there. Okay. Yes. Um, and we struggle with our own pastors, apostles, mm. prophets, mm. You know, teachers. Mm. They all struggle with their own with their own issues. You remember John the Baptist. Uh, yes. Jesus actually said, among all born, mm. uh, John is the greatest. And mm. he said, yet those who uh, believe in him, those then are actually greater uh, than, than John. Mm. But John prophesies uh, about the coming of, uh, of, of Jesus. Mm. And, uh, or he, he, he was sent as the one who foreruns uh, the coming of the Lord. And when Jesus comes, he actually speaks this is. Yeah. All right. And says, I should not even, I'm not worthy to untie um, the, 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 the laces of his shoes. And, and, and he, he also hears the voice, I believe, uh, when, you know, the dove uh, speaks mm. and rests and the voice speaks, this yes. is, you know? Yes. But then later on, we find John the Baptist sending uh, people to Jesus. That's is true. This, uh, are you the one or wait for mm. another? Mm. And, and uh, I'm thinking. Yes. And he had yeah. the voice. And he had yeah. the he voice. Had the voice. Yes. Uh, and, yes. and, and, and one of the prophets told God, you know, uli ndanganya ni kandanganyika. And, and I look at yes. David, this man who had this very close walk with yes. God, yes. And, and he says, why, why, my heart, my soul, why are you so downcast? Yes. So we have those moments. Yes. Now, what happens when a person comes for ministry, when you're at that point, mm -hmm. when you're asking God, mm -hmm. yes. what should I do? And Baba says, come and pray. Yes. Or, <laughs> yes. or yes. whoever yeah. else yes. Yes. Yeah. says, come yeah. and pray. Yes. Yes. It, it can be a very difficult time. Mm. And I think what... Uh, Apostle uh, uh, Kosge has mentioned mm. is important for us to ask what is the mind of God, including mm. saying, no, I'm not able to come and yes, pray okay, yes. right now. Okay, uh, yes. I am uh, aware of a case, a person was called to go and pray and he felt God was saying, no, mm. uh, don't go and pray. Yes. And so he said, God, just cause that not to happen. There was mm. a bit of traffic. Mm. Uh, and, and by the time they yes. got to the venue, wow. uh, the, the meeting was <laughs> over, you wow. know. So yeah. yes. God has a way just of Mm, allowing, yes. you know, things yes. to work around so yes. that, mm. uh, in that, that th it doesn't put his yes. name to disrespect. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. And I think that is a very yes. important, it's mm. walking with yes. God, it's the discipline of loving him. Yes. Uh, but testing the spirit, 
the word of God is important. I also think alignment with it. If my soul is fine, my heart is fine with God, do I have a witness yes. in me? Yes. That's what is being yes. said yes. is yes. right. And also think, <laughs> is there congruence with the other yes. ministers, what yes. they have said? Yes. Yes. And, but even the most critical one, I think it's the test of time. Yes. Jesus, um, I mean, God in his word says that there is no word that he speaks that falls to the ground. Yes. Boy. It doesn't go to waste. Yeah. So if a word is wasted, mm -hmm. it was not okay. yes. from him. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> which, which, I mean, that, that just begs a whole lot of questions. Yes. Eh? But let me come back to Apostle Coast. Yes. Assuming now, let's just turn the tables around. Yes. Assuming God spoke to you yes. that one of these two horses or yes. three horses yes. was he had anointed so and so to be the next president of the country. Yes. And you are called to a forum yes. where you are praying for that person. Yes. And you know in your heart, God yes. has spoken to you and yes. God has spoken yes. to you with yes. thunder and with lightning. Yes. I'm not yes. sure <laughs> when John he speaks to you. <laughs> with yes. thunder and lightning yes. and the yes. angel came with a big yes. sword. Yes. And you know, yes. um, how would you handle it? Okay, the Bible says um, in the Proverbs, Chapter 4, verse 7, uh, wisdom yes. is a principal thing. Yes. So, God, you know, God may give a word. God speaks. And maybe God can reveal that so-and-so will be the next president. But um, there's, um, there's, there, you know, there's, there's a dimension of wisdom. Because uh, you, 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 you cannot go, just go, you know, to to the person directly, or you just go howling, you share the word, because uh, we are serving people uh, that uh, everyone has its own, you know, the, the, you know, there are people that they feel so and so, yeah. you know, is, is, is my right hand person. And maybe on another side, there are, this, there are people are saying, you know, sense also is going to be the president. But I believe uh, by the key of wisdom, okay. yeah, we are able to, we are able to, we are able to, uh, to, to share. Mm. Because by wisdom, God prepares a way. Mm. God gives a platform how to share the word. And um, I remember one day, one time, and this is, <laughs> this is, uh, this is actually a living testimony. Okay. Uh, I have a friend of mine. The Lord spoke to him about... Um, one of the great leaders, you know, in uh, you know, you know, but not now the top lead, okay. the, the top leader. Okay. So in my region. Okay. So when the Lord spoke about you know you know about 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 this leader, he was given a word, and for sure this word was from God. But now because of uh, lack of wisdom, he went around, you know, sharing the word. And I remember very well, uh, number one, uh, actually, the devil capitalized you know, on his weakness because now uh, he was not able even to deliver the word. Then number two, the way the man of God said, you know, the devil came to steal, mm. to kill, and to destroy. Mm. So that very word actually was destroyed. Wow. And uh, it was so painful for him because he was not able to share the mind of God. So, and uh, I came to realize that um, when God speaks, yes, by thunder, by fire, mm -hmm. or by force, by anointing, but we need to, you know, you know, to, you know not only just, you know, receiving the word, but asking God for wisdom yeah. of how to deliver. Because delivery is very important. Wow. Because, you know, for example, uh, you have a parcel, you have a parcel to, to deliver. Mm. You know, you know, you know the, 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 this parcel is for Mombasa. You need to, to get a self-delivery okay. where this parcel will be delivered to Mombasa. Okay. So the safest way that God has given us is by having this key of, of, of wisdom. And you deliver the word also by encouraging, by edifying, and also you know, uh, ministering to the person. Okay. Yes. Wow. I, I'm just re thinking about the, yes. the Jehu, when Jehu was anointed, you know, and um, Elisha sends, Elisha, Elijah sends uh, one of his sons to go and anoint Jehu. And he says, when you get into that place, I think it was Elijah, Elijah or Elisha, only Elijah. one of them. When he gets to that place, um, 
anoints him with oil in, in, in a private company, you know, in a private setting. It was not public. I'm thinking, you know, if it was, I don't know, I don't know if it was you, Reverend John, but if it was me, I would want it to be done where everybody can see that I have Bring the sense. cameras on. <laughs> yes, yeah. turn on the cameras, turn on the TV, let me be the one to be seen mm. anointing this man. But that, that was not the case. Mm. It was done in a private setting, it was done in a private environment, yes. uh, which means that he was not necessarily seeking the limelight. Mm. And I think that that's one of the challenges, uh, I think, with a lot of the prophetic, where yes. we're using it, the gift, to gain attention to ourselves yes. instead of being faithful to us. Yes. Uh, what do you think, Reverend Mwangi? David, David was anointed at home. Wow. Yes. The birth of Jesus Christ was announced to two individuals. The calling of prophets, the calling of Moses. There are very few people that God had to blow a trumpet. Yes. God is God of secrets and he reveals things openly after the fact. Yes. Jesus had ministry but he only was revealed about 27, 30 years of his time. There was, you know, an anecdotal uh, openings where you hear him you know, at birth. Then when he's presented in the temple, you hear stuff there. But there's still a few people. Mm. Uh, and so uh, this issue of the limelight and if I really want to test what I have is from God, one of it is, can I keep quiet about it? Okay. Because silence is golden. Mm. And it's not all revelations that should be shared. Mm. Mm. But sure. not all revelation that is shared should be shared publicly. Okay. Mm. Yes. The patterns of scripture mm. is that God has a word for a person. Mm. You take it to the person. If God has a word for the nation, you take it to the nation. Mm -hmm. You don't take a personal word and take it to the nation. Mm -hmm. And I think mixing those, and when okay. the Bible talks about that the spirit of prophecy is subject to the prophet, it's the wisdom he's talking about, okay. that mm -hmm. God is asking me to have balance yes. mm -hmm. on how I'm going to engage on those mm -hmm. matters. So limelight will kill us, mm -hmm. and it's not all truth that is spoken that must be said. Mm -hmm. And it's not every word that I get to a person mm -hmm. actually should go to the person. Okay. Some of it is for me to pray mm -hmm. okay. and continue to work. And I like the analogy, the king has seen and a prophet is sent. Mm -hmm. And he can't go and tell, hey, yes. king, yes. Yes. <laughs> what is this uh, yes. uh, sidekick yes. here? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 That you yes. have. And yes. I think it's the wisdom yes. behind it. And uh, you know, yes. whoever lacks wisdom, yes. we should pray. That's mm -hmm. what the Bible says. And mm -hmm. God is no, he has no favorites. Mm. Yes. He'll actually give that wisdom to us. Yes. Wow. And also something to add uh, uh, also, and uh, it's very important what you said, mm. uh, with the prophets, we should be accountable wow. in what we are given by God. Because actually, uh, by accountability, it leads to clarity, mm. you know, of the prophet word. Okay. Yes, so it's very important that um, when you are given that word, you should be accountable. You are just a messenger. You are the mouthpiece of the Lord. So uh, actually, um, it is not just about, you know, and this is actually our weakness. You know, after, after sharing the word, giving the word, it's like now we are the... We are the most. We are the most. Uh, we are the most people that now we are. You know, Susan is said yes, yes, yeah. you, you know, now we are. It, it is us. It is not. It is about. Um, it is about sharing the mind of God. Mm. And remember, this glory belongs to Him. Amen. Yes, that's powerful. Yes, yes. Then, what is the purpose of prophecy, uh, Apostle Koske? I mean, yes. if it's not for people to know, then <laughs> why prophesy if it's not going to be in the public domain? Okay, okay, uh, yes, okay. Prophecy is meant, you know, uh, you, you know, for people to listen. It's meant to, you know, to, to enlighten, you know, uh, God's people. But also, um, uh, prophecy will be fruitful, or prophecy will bear fruit when we handle uh, the words of prophecy you know, in a, very, in a very special way. Because okay. uh, you can just imagine the scenario, the way the servant of God has said, God has given you the word. Then when I'm Kimbia Malipale, mm. you know, and you just share how is the word. I remember one day, one time, and I, I can't forget, you yeah. know, 
I was given a, you know, a prophetic word, you know, you know, for a certain, you know, for a certain family. And I went there, you know, knowing that now God has spoken to me. Mm. And I went there even without introducing myself. And I went there. This is what God is saying. In three, four days, in three, four days to come, mm. if you don't do ABCD, mm. then this will happen. My friend, <laughs> I was given some good rungos. Wow. Before, you know, after... You, after, you suffered for the Lord. <laughs> I, I, I suffered. <laughs> <laughs> So I was, I was, I was, I was, I was beaten thoroughly because, uh, you know, okay, the, it was the word of God. Yes. It was the word of God. The Lord spoke, but how I package myself, mm. you know, you know, you know, to, to, to release the word, it was in a very wrong way. Yeah. But, you know, and for sure, after three, four days, actually after, after the third day, mm. the Lord, uh, you know, confirmed that word. And they were saying, oh, we wish, you know. <laughs> we're not oh, being the prophet. You, you, yes. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> but already I was nursing myself. <laughs> you know, okay. so, um, the, the, you know, the, 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 the role of, uh, of prophecy is to empower the church. Okay. It's to give direction. It's, you know, it's, it's to give covering. You know, prophecy for protection, mm. prophecy for covering. Mm. You know, and also prophecy. You know, to, you know, you know, to for spiritual growth. Yeah. Because there are people today, uh, uh, they have they are blessed by God. They have gone to higher dimensions just because of a prophetic word. Excellent. So uh, we don't despise uh, prophecies, mm. uh, and that's what the Bible says in Amos chapter three, verse seven. God does nothing unless He speaks to His servants. You know, the prophets. Excellent. And uh, we are all prophets. So we are serving <laughs> God. <laughs> Just back to that scenario yes. you explained earlier. Yes. What would you have done different now? Okay. How would now, you have, yes, yeah. Okay, one, uh, you, know, you know, for me, I went there as, uh, as I, I was so militant, you know, when I was going to, <laughs> when I was going to share the word. But we have been given, we have been given, a, you, know, you, know, you know, a foundation of love. When you are carrying a prophetic word, remember um, the, the pillar, you know, the grace behind each and every prophetic word is the love of God. Wow. Okay. So are you sharing the love of God? Are mm. you touching, you know, the person? Mm. Because at times, yes, God may give you, you know, this word, you know, it's a, you know, it's a, it's, it's a warning. But don't share the word, you know, you know, you, in a way that you are not, you know, showing God's love. Because okay. every prophecy has a role of restoration. Mm. We, you, know, you, you, know, you, know, you know, there's power when we prophesy. And the power behind, you know, prophecy is restoration. Wow. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Uh, Reverend Mwangi, have you ever had a, a prophetic word? Let's call it a prophetic <laughs> word. And that didn't come to pass. And what was that experience like? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there are many. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and what were your learnings? Uh, was it a learning experience or yeah. a just a painful experience? You know, the, 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 when I look at, the, again, the patterns of Scripture, yes. God will say something and then it doesn't happen. Yes. Did God lie, for yes. instance? Yes, uh, yes, Your children yes. of Israel, yes. you go into this land, you're going to be there 400 years. Mm. It wasn't 400 years in, yeah, 400 in, in years, Egypt. Yeah. How long did they stay? Yes. It wasn't 30. 400, it was yeah. for 30 years. Yes. So yes. what happened? Did God lie? Yes. And uh, you're going to be father of nations. Yes. By the time he was dying, yeah. uh, Abraham did not have a thousand yes. generations. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. It depends on the perspective. Mm. Yes. Uh, um, one time I felt that God was saying he's going to give me shoes and my friend, I, was, I, I didn't have shoes of, <laughs> of, 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 of the caliber I thought I should be wearing. Yes. And, and, and I said he's going to give me shoes. But really what God meant at that time is it's, um, what the Bible says, put on the full armor, you know, and then part of it is shodding your feet mm. with the preparedness mm. that comes from the gospel of peace. Mm. And, and so I was given a mission to go and preach. When yes. I came back, of course, there was yes. a bag full yes. of many things, yes. including shoes. Yes, but wow. yes. really what God was saying is that I'm preparing you to yes. go for ministry. Sometimes we really need, because prophecy sometimes doesn't yes. really come into our, uh, so to speak, our natural sense. Mm. We need to be the spiritual people mm. because mm. those who are born of spirit are spirit for mm. us to, 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 to. Yeah, so that has come. And mm. my learnings, one, is that always seek God okay. when you hear a prophetic word. Okay. It just 
take it to God in prayer. Mm. Yes. And Paul told Timothy, mm. may God give you understanding of mm. the things that I'm mm. telling you. Mm. Uh, the second thing is, go back to the person and say, you yes. said this, could you clarify? Yes. Sometimes okay. the prophet forget what they say yes. because yes. the word was not for that. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 But go back to God. I think it helps a lot. Yes. Yes. Write them down. Yes. Mm. Write. I'm in the habit of recording uh, a few people when mm. they call, they say, I have a word yes. from the Lord. I say, may I please record this? Yes. 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 And then I can play that over and over mm. again. So yes. that there's clarity mm. on that. And so yes. I think that's it. But never elevate the prophecy beyond God. Yes. It's true. Okay. Yes. It's God yes. who we worship yes. is not the prophecy. Mm -hmm. Because as I say, there are some prophets and prophecies yes. which are not from him. It's yeah. true. And there is this girl who follows, I think it should be Paul. Yeah. Follow this man, he's coming to tell you the way of truth. Yes. But she had yes. a demon, you know, yes. spirit yes. of the, yes. uh, what, uh, divination? Python, yeah. And yes. there's a lot around, uh, yes. it's very hard sometimes yes. to, uh, you know, Balaam yes. had both. Yes. Uh, you yes. dispute this is the word of the Lord yes. and sometimes yes. you'd yes. actually want to cast the children yes. Yes. because yes. of money, you it's know? Mm -hmm. And so it was Balaam, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah, excellent. Uh, parting shots. I can see yes. that our time is almost up. Oh, yes. And what, what are your final thoughts, especially as you prepare for 2022 and the role of the prophetic? Okay, now, um, number one, um, in whose hands are we safe? Wow. <laughs> mm. Mm. In whose hands are we safe? Mm. We need to remember that, uh, number one, um, uh, the leadership comes from God. And we should rely on God and in God alone. Then number two, uh, the 2022 uh, uh, election uh, determines uh, the future of the coming generations. Okay. And I want to encourage the church to be out and, you know, you know stand in the gap and all elect the right leaders because... Uh, this is a new dispensation and being a new dispensation our choice or our position is very important it is either to build a generation or to destroy yeah. a generation yeah. yes. so, so we, we, we must be we must be uh, ready you know to pay the price and remember also that um, uh, and now we are, we, are, we are trusting God for the fifth president. Yes. Remember the first, the second, the third, and the fourth generation. Mm. Now the fifth, and I believe now this is actually a new era. Okay. It's, you know, it's, it's a new season, mm. you know, for the nation. And my prayer, you know, as a servant of God, is that um, it is not about the political inclinations that we have, mm. but it is about how dependent are we to God. Okay. So let's trust upon the Lord and know that uh, there's something that God is going to do for us. Amen. Yes. Reverend Mwangi, parting shot. One, don't despise prophecy. Okay. Secondly, uh, test every spirit. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, believe in, the prof in yes. God, believe mm -hmm. in the prophet, mm -hmm. and you prosper. Mm -hmm. Yes. And fourthly, seek the Lord to understand his word and what he is saying yes. for yourself. Okay. Yes. The curtain was torn. If I do not agree with something, it does not mean I'm less spiritual. Yes. Yes. It means I'm more inquisitive. I yes. need to go to God who has called both me yes. and the prophet. Yes. And I, I think my final point is that is a warning. Whoever misleads these little ones. Yes for whatever reason, because this looks like it's this, the dispensation of prophets. Yes. Yes. So all of us want to be <laughs> yes, prophets. Exactly. Um, whoever misleads because they say they are prophets, they have to deal with God directly. directly. And it's a warning shot that mm. do not mm. put words that God mm. has not yes. put before mm. you mm. and say it's from the Lord. It's yes. a warning and we must be absolutely clear that it's God's word we are speaking, not yes. our minds. It's okay. true. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That brings an end to our discussion. Thank you for joining us. I just want to summarize what they said, um, especially as they're winding up, that even as we prepare for 2022, we cannot despise the prophetic word. Yes. There's a place for prophecy. There's a place for the mind and the heart of God. But there's also a place for testing and proving every prophetic word. You know, sometimes there are some prophetic words that uh, somebody would say tickle our fancy. You know, they speak to maybe if I'm from this community and that word aligns with that community, we tend to value it higher than a word that opposes what, you know, what this community stands for. We need to begin to rise above that that as a church and we need to begin to seek the heart and the mind of God especially concerning the future of this nation I believe that the coming election and I believe that that's what my team here believes is the most important election right up to now well the last election was the most important election right up to then the coming election next year is the most important election right up to now and we need to pray for that election we need to align with the heart and the mind of God and see what the Lord is saying especially about 2022 the Lord bless you the Lord keep you thank you for joining us today the Lord calls the light of his countenance shine upon you and give you peace on every side. Amen. Amen.